Hello there guys, it's CoolFox over here and today I'm bringing you an unboxing and review of the Betron S2 wireless headphones. Taking a look at the front we have a picture of the headphones themselves. On the side we have what is included in the box which is obviously the headphones, a 3.5mm audio cable, a charging cable which is micro USB and a manual. On the back we have the more specific specifications which state that these have 40mm drivers a frequency range of 20 hz to 20 kHz, a working range of around 8 meters through Bluetooth obviously, a playtime of around 12 hours, a battery of around 300 mAh, and a charging time of 2.5 hours. These are a few of the features included, which basically state that these have up to 12 hours of battery life, obviously using Bluetooth, and it also has a 3.5mm jack for when you need to use a wired connection. Here you also have the website and some of their social media platforms. On the other side it is all blank. Opening the box up, you will first find the headphones on the top, obviously the headband. And everything is included underneath that. Here you have the headphones which are actually very nicely packaged. And taking those out, you can see that they do actually look very good, but we will take a look at those later. On the side we have the usual VIP card that Betron provides which basically states that if you do register on their website, you get some extended warranty and a few other benefits. Apart from that, on the side as well, you have the manual. And taking a look at that, you can see that it basically states how to connect the headphones to your device and also a few other features. Apart from that, on the other side, you have the cables included. So first here you have the audio cable, which is a normal 3.5 mm jack. And then we also have the micro USB cable, which is obviously standard. Now taking a closer look at the headphones themselves, you can see that these have a very nice design with orange accents. This is a piece of stainless steel and it does have a few ridges. The earpads themselves are very soft and as you can see this is an on-ear type and not an over-ear. This is plastic, although it does seem like it's metal but this here is metal. You can obviously extend and retract the headband according to your size and the headband itself is also very very comfortable. Here you do have indications on which side you need to put these on so this is obviously the right side and this is obviously the left side and here on the right you have the volume controls which are very tactile and obviously the power button you do have to hold that to turn it on. You also have the headphone port. On the other side you have the micro USB cable for charging and that is nicely hidden away inside a little sleeve. You also have a little microphone that can be used for calls. The sound quality of this headset is pretty good and although the mids are pretty muddy and there isn't as much high end and low end as I would have liked, these are what you should expect at this price point. When connected through the wire to your device, it does sound a bit better with the mids not being as muddy and there will also be a lot more high end and low end and therefore if you are going after sound quality, you should obviously connect these with a wire. But if you want to use these with the Bluetooth function as they are intended, you will get a very nice range of around 10.9 meters or 36 feet. This was actually very surprising since the manual did state that these have a range of 8 meters and that is obviously a lot more than 8 meters. At 10.9 meters though it does start to crackle a bit since it starts to lose the connection a bit but going a bit closer it will sound just as fine as if you are right next to the device itself. Something to keep in mind as far as sound quality goes is that at high volumes these will start to distort a bit and that is very common with these types of headphones at this price range. As for comfort these are very comfortable since the earmuffs are very soft. These will obviously stay on the ear since these are on ear headphones. The headband itself is also very soft as I stated before. Something else on the headset itself is that when you turn it on there is a little LED which blinks red and blue to indicate that it has gone into pairing mode. When it is connected it will light up blue and when it is turned off it will light up red to indicate that it has obviously turned off. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more content. 
If you are thinking of buying this headset, I would really appreciate it if you use the link down below since I am an Amazon affiliate and I will get a small commission from the sale. This was Cool Fox and I'm out. Peace.